Hi, I'm Jim Leslie, one of the directors with the Kootenays Medicine Tree, and welcome back to another video discussing more important cannabis facts. So specifically today, we're going to focus on one particular property of tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, found in cannabis. You may be aware it's used as an analgesic um, to relieve pain. There's many uses for THC, but one of the very important uses that doesn't get a lot of focus is bronchial dilation. So what does that mean? That has to do with your upper airways in your lungs. Specifically, we're talking asthma, for instance. Now, in asthma, people are generally treated by taking inhaled doses of steroids. Over time, of course, there's issues with toxicity and complications from long-term steroid use. Did you know that back many decades ago, when cannabis was being sold as a patent medicine, it was actually sold um, in cigarette form to treat asthma? And the reason is that even in the smoke of marijuana or cannabis, THC acts as a bronchial dilator. So, how do you use this more cleanly and efficiently? Well, in our dispensary, well, we see people using the bronchiodilating effects of cannabis from inhalation methods, we tend to refer people to um, oral tinctures. Now, to give an example um, personal to my life, my father, who is a retired agrologist and scientist who's never used cannabis in his life, um, was diagnosed with asthma. Um, it was severe to the point where a daily use of an inhaler was, uh, was always there, it was always present. And there's an issue around concerns with um, using steroids consistently. So, he decided to try, once he got his diagnosis on paper and got signed up, a tincture, a liquid tincture of THC dominant cannabis. Well, guess what? At a sub-psychoactive dose, or a dose so low that a person cannot get high from it, he experienced opening of the airways, or bronchial dilation. Fascinating. Now, progressing on down the road, he's actually started using a THC and CBD tincture to take advantage of the entourage effect between a multiplicity of cannabinoids. It's very interesting to note that this particular use of these compounds is specifically very good for asthma and specifically when taken sublingually under the tongue without any inhalation dose at all. That's very interesting. Thanks for watching.